In this video, I will discuss why I test software installation with PSExec before deploying it with Group Policy or similar tools. And long story short, I am doing this because it allows us to install software using a system account. And majority of deployment tools are using system account to deploy the software. And in some cases, with some software, you might get different results depending on what user you are using to deploy it. And I will be demonstrating the behavior in this video. And as you can see, I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL for this page in the description down below. Also, here in my VMware workstation, I have prepared a virtual machine where I will be demonstrating the behavior. As you can see here, I have an executable to install Telegram and I will use Telegram to demonstrate what happens when you deploy it with a regular user and what happens when you're using a system user. And Telegram is nothing special because there is a lot of other applications that behave in the same way. For example, like a lot of modern browsers, text editors and chat applications. Like Microsoft Teams, Opera, Brave Browser, Visual Studio Code and many more. So let's begin this video by installing Telegram using silent switches with a regular account. So for that I will open CMD and I will run it as administrator. And now we need to change the directory to the directory where we have our installation file. So for that I will copy the link that I have here and then type CD and paste in the link and click enter. And as you can see here, we see our installation file right here. And to install it, I will simply type the executable name and then do slash very silent. And I will also add cmdc in the beginning so I see when the installation process is over. Now let's wait for it to install. And as you can see, Telegram icon appeared on the desktop. And if I try to run it, everything seems to be fine. So the installation was successful when I'm using my user. And also we can check what user we are using in our command line by typing who am I. And as you can see, it's an admin user that is on this machine right here. And some people would think that this information is enough to prepare the deployment for the software. And they would be wrong. Because here we don't see that this application is installing under the user who is performing the installation. If I select the telegram icon that I have on my desktop and right click it. And then click on open file location. We see that all the necessary files for this application is under the admin user profile. And that means that only admin who performed the installation can see and use the application. So now let's remove the application that we installed and let's see what happens when we install the software using a system account. So to remove it, I will go to the control panel, select uninstall a program, then select telegram and uninstall. Click yes. And it seems that it was successfully removed. And now let's go back to my GitHub page. And here I will use the link that I have right here. I will click on it and it brings us to the Microsoft page where we can download PS tools. Also, you can find some information about PS exec. For example, here you can find all the parameters that you can use in the command line. And here are a few examples uh, on how to use the software. We care about this part the most because uh, we will use the PSExec executable to launch other processes under the system account. And also PSExec is a tool that is used to execute uh, commands on remote computers, but we don't care about that in this video. So let's go up and click on download PS tools. Now let's go to the downloads folder and we have this zip right here. And I will use 7-zip to extract it. And now let's go inside of the PS Tools folder. And as you can see, we have multiple tools here, but the only one that we care about is this PS Exec executable. So I'll right click and click on copy. And I will go back to my virtual machine, to the software folder where I have my Telegram application. I will right click and paste. Now in this folder we have the PSExec executable and the installation for Telegram. So let's go back to our command line. 
I will clear the screen. And now we can use psexec to start a process under the system account. And to do that, I will type psexec, the full name of the file. Next, I will type minus i for interactive and minus s uh, for system account. And for example, we can run cmd. And as you can see, it has, it popped up a new window. And if I type who am I, it is saying anti-authority system. So everything that I'm doing in this window, I am doing it as a system account and not my regular admin account. And now let's change the directory of this window to the directory where I have my installation files. For that, I will go to my file explorer and then copy the link from here. Next, I will type CD, paste in the location and click enter. And if I do there, I can see that I have my PSExec executable here and the installation file for the Telegram application. So now let's try to install Telegram application once more, but this time we'll be doing it from the system account. For that, I will type in the executable name and do slash very silent and then I will click enter. And as you can see, we got an error message and this is very good for us because now we know that there is issues when deploying the software using a system account, which would be used by our deployment tool and we can put effort into solving this issue. And it's a lot better to know about the issue now rather than preparing the deployment for hundreds of computers and failing the installation on all of them. So now I will click OK on the error message. We got another one. Click OK once more and we have one more error message. And after clicking OK, it seems the installation has finished. And as you can see, the icon for Telegram application didn't appear on my account. And that's because the installation was performed with a system account and all the necessary files for the application is under the system account right now. And no other user account has access to those folders and files. And that means that having the executable and knowing the silent switches is not enough to deploy the software. So having this information, now we can make other decisions on how to install the software because there are multiple ways how to deal with software that is installing under the user accounts. And I will be covering it in the future videos. I hope that this information is useful for you. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more and see you in the next one.